and, and I, I would say to you as well, when is the right time to start to integrate sponsorship into your program, into your live event? If you're hosting your first live event, I would focus on filling the room. I would focus on making sure that you have the best event experience. Make sure that you have an amazing offer for your attendees. And that you can be single focused on the thing that's most important, which is delivering incredible content and making a really solid high ticket offer versus a lot of distractions going into your event and a lot of distractions during your event. Yeah. So if you're not a seasoned host, definitely sponsorship can be a challenge and a great right away. It's something that you can grow into. And there are some exceptions to that as well, some exceptions to the thing that I just told you to, to, to be aware of. One would be if you're somebody who just did your first launch or you've been in the online space for a while, you've done launches, and you have a really large client base. You have let's, some great affiliates. So yeah, or let's say you just did a launch and you sold you know, 1,000 units. Well, you can probably put a few hundred people in a room. Then you start thinking about sponsorship on your first go. But even using Stu McLaren as an example, um, who hosted Tribe Live, who we were actually with all day today. Today was doing his team today, planning next year's Tribe Live. That was super fun. Exactly. He didn't do any sponsorship in his first event, even though he had almost 300 people at his live event. And that's because he wanted him and his team to be able to focus 100% on just the experience and what it was like to be an attendee. Um, in year two, he integrated limited amounts of trusted partners as sponsors. And I thought that was a great way to go. And I think it's also the smart way to go because it's a long game. You really want to build them to last, right? And if you sell a bunch of people into a concept of sponsorship or a bunch of sponsors into this program and you oversell, now you have a bad experience. And to recreate those sales in the upcoming year, it's yeah. not going to be easy. So it's better to start small and to work your way up. Um, but I would start with those high ticket offers. Yeah. And then as you're doing that, I think it's critical when you're signing up a sponsor to be extremely clear on what they're selling. You do not want that to be open-ended. You are locking in what they're selling, how much they're selling it for. If they're doing lead gen, um, that campaign we talked about, when that's allowed to start, and then what they're going to be selling from there, just to make sure there's a shared set of expectations between you and the limited sponsors that you're signing up.